hello 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 welcome back to my channel boo this is for me here again with another tutorial in today's video we're going to be making this very cute hair piece right i saw this um cute picture of osas igodara's baby girl on instagram and she had this very cute bow hair piece on her hair and i just thought it looked absolutely beautiful so i decided to recreate that exact same kind of hair piece and then share the tutorial on here on youtube so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can make that very beautiful piece of hair accessory for yourself or your daughter or someone you love and yeah it will serve as a very perfect gift item for whoever you choose to make it for so if you'll be interested in knowing all about this process please be sure to watch the video to the end subscribe like share and all that good stuff all right guys let's get straight into it okay guys so what we have here is just a piece of net and scissors that's pretty much the main items that you need for making this particular piece of hair accessory so what you want to do is cut two strips of net and the length of those two strips should be six inches you can make it smaller or larger depending on how wide you want your own hair piece to be but for me the measurement i'm using is about six inches and for this point i just basically i think i've done this so much that i can basically eyeball the inches right i know i know you guys be like hmm, how can you eyeball it but yeah i basically just eyeballed the fabric and then cut up and it was about six inches at the end of the day so next up you want to now divide that strip of net that you cut up divide it into smaller pieces so the length should be about six inches by five inches so just go ahead and do that and cut your net into pieces you can even do six inches by six inches really it doesn't matter the point is you want to have several layers of net stacked on each other and that's exactly what i'm doing here just stacking my nets on each other and dividing them and once i got satisfied with the dimension that i have or, or that i had of the net i decided to repeat that same process on the second piece of net that i cut up so i'm just basically dividing it into pieces and then stacking it on top of each other i know i didn't say hello at the beginning of the video if this is your first time stopping by my channel hi there my name is fumi b and i make videos like this where i just share how to make beautiful pieces of items for yourself i'm a diy lover basically so i like to share the procedure of making different items that i typically make in the comfort of my home with you guys on here on youtube so if that sounds like something content that you're interested in subscribing to on youtube please be sure to smash the subscribe button join me on here and if it's also if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to my channel all right guys now that i've said hello to you guys the next step in making this piece of hair accessory is threading your needle and thread like i said this hair accessory is very very easy straight to the point it took me less than 30 minutes to make it so i'm just going to thread my needle and thread right and then i'm going to find the center of the nets that i stacked on top of each other so this is my net right here on the table i'm going to find the center and all i usually do when trying to find the center of this kind of fabric is basically just putting my hand in the middle and then folding it over and then kind of eyeballing where the center of the fabric is so once that is done i'm now going to start doing some kind of stitches at the center just to create gathers at that point so you know when trying to make bows i've made a couple of hair accessories that involve bows so i'm sure you guys already know that process but i'm just going to repeat myself again when trying to make bow the secret to achieving beautiful bows is really gathers so i'm just going to use my needle and thread to create gathers at the center and then once i'm done once i've gotten to the edge of my net or whatever fabric i'm using to create a bow i'm just going to roll my thread around that center just to secure the stitches that i made at that point so that's exactly what i'm doing here and i'm also passing my needle and thread through the rolling that i did just to secure my thread that's usually the hack that and it has been working for me really i don't know if there's a better way to do it but yeah this is what i do every single time and it has been working for me so now that i'm done securing my thread at that center point all i'm doing now is just cutting off the excess thread and this is what we have here but because we can't have our thread just showing at the center it just looks tacky right what i'm going to do to cover up that our secret in the center is basically just cut a small strip of net right about one inch wide and then i'm now going to roll it around the center of this our board that we have going on so that's exactly what i'm doing here i just cut the little piece of net and then i'm just going to roll that around the center and then cover up this stitch that we made at the center so just keep going 
round and round and round until there's nothing left to go around if you've made it up to this point and you're yet to subscribe please be sure to hit the subscribe button also if you are yet to like this video i'm sure you've been enjoying what you're watching so please be sure to hit the like button so i know that you enjoyed this very brief straight to the point tutorial all right guys so what i'm doing now is i'm just securing the net that i rolled around the center so i'm just using my needle and thread right there just to make small stitches just to secure the net so i don't lose my net in the process and once that is done i'm just going to cut off this extra piece of net that i have going on and yeah guys this is pretty much where we are at right now in the tutorial so what i'm just doing here is just securing the net for that because i found that it wasn't you know sitting flat enough and once i was done with that i just went ahead to cut off the needle and thread finally and yeah this is where we are at we could stop here right and just attach our comb and be done with this hair accessory but because i'm very extra i'm going to go ahead to embellish this very cute hair piece for myself but what i'm doing here is just attaching the comb that's going to allow us be able to attach this hair piece to our hair basically and all that entails is just for me to cut the regular combs that you use for your hair pieces right i divided it into two because yeah this bow piece is quite small i don't need to use the full length i divided it into two and then i stuck this um remaining half right i stuck it to my piece of hair accessory and that was pretty much it what i'm doing here is i'm just using my glue gun to attach some beads onto the hair accessory because i just felt like it looked too plain right so i decided to put some pearl flat beads basically this is not pearl right i just put some flat beads in the center just to accessorize a little bit you guys know if you're familiar with me and my channel in general you know i love accessorizing i love blings i love beads and stuff like that so yeah that's exactly what i'm doing here just using my glue gun and yeah that's pretty much the full gist of this whole tutorial so once i was done doing this i just allowed the glue gun and the beads and everything to dry up and yeah guys that was that was the end of making this very cute hair accessory so yeah i hope you guys go ahead to try this out this is it this is the final look i don't like the way the edges were looking so i decided to just trim off the edges and then just make everything equal i'm not sure i filmed that but yeah feel free to go ahead to do this on your own if the edges of your net is not looking put together just go ahead to just trim it a little bit cut off the excess net that's sticking here and there and you'll be done right this particular hair piece can be perfect for you know your birthday shoot for yourself or for your baby girl or if you just want something matching with yourself and your daughter yourself and your sister just something really really cute very straight to the point and it's very easy to make right and you don't have to spend so much money everything that i used in making this particular hair piece was not up to 500 naira that's like what's like one dollar right it's very easy very straight to the point so i decided to just wear this on my hair so you guys can get a yeah get an idea of what it will look like when you go ahead to wear it on yourself typically i would have preferred to wear it on my natural hair but because my hair was just in a hot mess i just decided to just rock it with my wig like that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please be sure to smash the like button so i know you enjoyed watching also share this with your friend or someone that you know that likes doing diy stuff share this video with them subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and all that good stuff and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in my next tutorial this weekend love and appreciate you Mwah. bye <laughs>